I've got this theory, right, that like whoever we're praying to, whether you're Jewish or Christian or Zoroastrian or Buddhist, I was like, I think we're all praying to the same, the mm. same force, the same, you know, universal being that there is. Well, it's not a being, but like the same universal force, right? There's just different people throughout time who've delivered the message. And then along the way, it's kind of gotten muddied or really restrictive within different religions, right? I think, you know, Jesus was one person that spoke about the word. Muhammad was one person that spoke about the word. Zoratusha was one person that spoke about the word. They had this, I guess, connection um, and they were able to relay the things that they were speaking to God about, right? Or the, or the feelings that they had or the things that they were experiencing in a way that was able to, uh, you know, be... I guess, uh, taken on by other people and understood to push forward. But I think it's all the same guy or woman or being or force or whatever it is, right? But um, it just gets, I feel it gets muddied along the way and, and there's some interest in things like that, you know, uh, people trying to impose their will and they kind of use religious religion as the guise for that. 